So guys, we built an SR-71 inspired aircraft in flyouts, and today we're going to be testing it out. If you guys want to see how this thing was built, head over to Frantic Extra where I did a time lapse video of building this thing. I talked through it a little bit as well, and talked a little bit about the SR-71 as well, just in case you want to actually see that. But anyway, today we're going to be testing this thing out, we're going to see if we can reach Mach 3.3, and um, yeah, we're going to go from there. So, let's get to it. Alright, so this is what it currently looks like from above. Honestly, what I'm thinking is I want to extend this, uh, which is like the fuselage, a little bit further forward. So that is actually the first thing we're going to do before we do anything else. I don't want to go too far forward though, so let's go ahead and just push it forwards by like one, I guess, and hopefully that'll be good. So essentially we need to do this on every single one of these. It won't take long, uh, and all we have to do is push them all forwards. Here we go. Slowly but surely, we'll get there. One. Only one. Come on. There we go. Nice. Um, I have a feeling we might mess something up here uh, with the fuselage. But we'll see. We'll see. This might be a little bit too far for all of these. Not sure. I'm not sure that looks better or worse. I think this is more like it, though. I'm almost certain this is, this is correct. So let's go ahead and try and take off in this thing. Hopefully we can get into the air again and I guess send it into the sky. We need to get to around 70,000 feet, uh, and then we'll see if we can get to Mach 3.3. Let's go, guys. Let's go, go, go. So what I'm actually going to do is set the autopilot. We're going to set it to current. That's good. We're going to set this to Mach 5, and we're going to set this to 20, 1, 2, 3. There we go. Engage. We are slightly off the runway, but don't worry about that too much. We're going to allow the autopilot to do whatever the heck it wants, and we're going to take off. All right. So... It is worth saying, I haven't tested it with the extra fuselage on the front, but hopefully that shouldn't matter too much anyway. Uh, I think we'll be good. Maybe. Alright, so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the actual, I, I guess, livery, I'm going to call it. Uh, obviously, I added some red lines right here on one side and on the other side, and a bunch of triangles and then a bunch of hexagons. I honestly really like the hexagons. I think hexagons look really cool. Um, and how many times can I say hexagon? <laughs> I feel like I could have just kept going there, but never mind. Right, so we are at Mach 1.6 already, and we are at 8,000 feet. We are starting to wiggle, which is not what you want, but we are still okay, so that's good. Yes, we're going to go for straight line speed here. We're not going to go for uh, agility at all, so uh, hopefully we reach Mach 3 very soon. Oh, and here it is coming past us. Let's listen to the uh, the sonic boom that's about to happen. In three, two... Oh, never mind. I was too slow. I was far too slow. But yeah, here it is. I, I, I Honestly, I think I've done an okay job here. I was expecting it to look a lot worse. Not gonna lie. All right, we have literally just hit Mark 2.5, and uh, we are still rising. So hopefully, Mark 3.3 is on the horizon. We are already at about 40,000 feet, though, so we'll see what happens here. It might work, it might not work. Um, the other thing is, as well, our fuel still says 40%, so I'm almost certain I've actually got the wrong fuel in here, and it's not using it. So, we might have to change that. Maybe. Alright, there we are. So, I believe this is around our top speed, which is 2.72, uh, Mach 2.72. So we are actually quite far off our goal. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to increase the size of the engines. Uh, we're also going to increase the size of this guy right here. And I might even increase, increase the size of the wings so that we can make essentially all of this back here a little bit bigger. All right, guys, here we go. So let's go ahead and click on our engine right there. We're going to go ahead and make this three spools is... What does that actually allow us to do? Oh, it gives us an extra one of these. I don't know what an IPC is. I'm not I'm not actually sure. But I think three spools will actually allow us to go even faster. So if I set this at 60, and we set this at 30. Okay, so we've got like a little bit of each. Obviously, that has extended it forwards, but that's okay. Because now we can obviously extend this guy forwards. And then it shouldn't actually matter. Here we go. Bring that all the way forwards to there. I do think that looks a lot uglier than it did, so we need to change that, but um, that's okay. So let's say this is like 0.9, that is 7, not 9, um, 0.6, 0.7, okay, we're going to go with mm, 0.65, <laughs> there you go, okay, cool, so we're going to go with this, we're then going to go ahead and set this guy to be a lot bigger as well, 0.65, 
And the same thing right here. Yes. And that looks a lot better. Um, but yeah, it still looks kind of bad. So I might have to make everything else a little bit bigger too. But let's go ahead and get this in the sky and see if it'll reach Mach 3. Now that we've done that. Oh, and I'm going to change the fuel as well. It's not going to be iso-octane. It is literally just going to be jet fuel. There we go. Uh, and hopefully this works. Nope. It, look, it, it doesn't... It's it's completely bugged out the game. What we've just done has completely bugged out the game. And I don't know why. Look at how fast the wind is. Wow. Oh, okay. So that's what it does. It increases the number of turbine units in the engine. Okay, so uh, I don't need... I don't need that many. I don't think I need three. We're just going to go with two. Uh, we're gonna set that to 40, and we're gonna set this to... Yeah, literally just 5. Okay, and I think that'll work. I, I hope, anyway. Let's see. Yup, here we go! Yes! Nice! Okay, so let's go ahead and set this to current. Excellent! We'll set our altitude to something like 20,000 again. There we go. And set this to Mach 5. Go! Engage. So, it's gonna drive, or fly, in a straight line. And, uh, hopefully... We'll get up to a better speed than last time. I've also increased the size of the engine to be a little bit bigger. As you guys can see, it is huge now. They're very, very wide in diameter. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay guys, we are at almost 40,000 feet, and we are actually beating the speeds that we were at last time, so we're up to 2.76, uh, 2.77, okay, we're gonna continue to increase our altitude, hopefully, uh, <laughs> I guess, hopefully we'll actually get up to a nice enough altitude so that we can keep gaining speed. Now, I'm not sure we will, I don't know, um, I don't know how much higher this thing is actually gonna go, it seems to be leveling out around here. So, we might have to change that. We might have to go into the autopilot and actually make it go higher. Oh no, look. Oh! Oh no! Oh no, catastrophe! We've suffered an issue. I don't know what quite happens at this altitude, but it gets to a point where it essentially just stops, and I'm not sure why. I don't know why. What happens? I think I do actually have an idea as to why, and I think what it is, is because we are very much balanced by our fuel, uh, whenever we run out of fuel in the front, I don't know whether there is actually a fuel tank in the front, there is one here though, uh, let's see if we've run out of fuel there, and we'll go from there, so press P, here we go, sphere, yes, okay, right, so what's happened is, the wing fuel tanks have still got fuel in, okay, they got 32% fuel. But, these guys at the front right here have zero fuel, so it's all been used. So our balancing actually just goes all to whack and doesn't work. So we need to add actual weight in the front, otherwise this is never gonna work. Here we go again! Okay, so I've changed a few things, uh, including adding a bunch of weight to the front that isn't fuel. Uh, so let's go ahead and set this as a current, go ahead and set this at 5, and set this at 25,000. Hey, engage! Okay, let's see what this does. Whether it gets us off the ground or not, I'm not sure it will. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're going. We're already going 200 miles an hour. We are going slower than we were before, but don't worry about that too much. Because I think our higher, our top speed will actually be higher. We're at 300 miles an hour, can it lift off? 350, okay, keep going! 390, 400 miles an hour, we are in the air! Okay, yeah, excellent! We're going 500 miles an hour, okay! So, let's get up to the right altitude, and we'll see what kind of speeds we can get. So, it turns out, I have made it worse! I made it much worse. So, let's return to the hangar again. Uh, there's a bunch of returning to the hangar with this one. I need to go to this guy, and I'm gonna lower this to two. I know that seems crazy, but we're gonna go with two. Okay, that's gonna stay at 40. Hopefully we're good. You know, hopefully this is fine.
We are at Mach 2.72 at 20,000 feet. Okay, so we are going to hit Mach 3 here. There is no doubt about it. At least I don't think there's any doubt about it, but me saying that means there's some doubt about it. Anyway, uh, if we keep going, we are going to hit Mach 3 very soon. If I hit Mach 3, I'm going to be so happy. Honestly, we have hit Mach 3 already, and it is continuing to go. Will we hit Mach 3.3? I think we might. Uh, although it does seem to have stagnated a little bit, it is slowing down. Let's continue to climb and see if we can do it. Come on. So I want this to get to like 60,000 feet, if we can. And uh, we'll see what happens there. It's at Mach 3.15. So it's quick. It is very, very fast. But it's not quite fast enough. We're about 100 miles an hour too short. Uh, or too slow, I guess. That's kind of annoying. That's really, really annoying. But it is past Mach 3, so uh, there's... Yeah, I think I'm happy with this. I think I'm very happy with this. The higher we get from here, the uh, the slower we are going to go, though. So we do need to watch out for that. Um, we are at 60,000 feet going Mach 3.1. There you go. Uh, and I think that is good enough. So what I actually want to do from here is... I want to add some missiles to it because I think that'll be fun. And I want to shoot down some drones. So let's get to it. Uh-oh. Okay, right. So I spawned in some SAM sites, and uh, they they seem to be shooting at me, which, you know, makes sense. Uh, it does make sense that they're shooting at me. Um, I need to figure... Oh, no. We're just going to go down and die. This isn't good. I need to go into the settings of my control surfaces and allow them to work uh, at higher speeds. Because this is going to kill me. I'm actually just going to die. Also, the target drones, they're all up there. Yikes. Okay, so let's just go ahead and try and fire at a tank, and hopefully it will actually hit the target. So it's out there, the tank. Uh, this is maneuverable, but a little bit too maneuverable at this point. But that's okay. Let's go ahead and see what happens here. Three, two, one. Fire? Did I actually fire one? No, that didn't work. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. All right, we need to throttle up and actually pitch up. All right, we hit the tank. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we still can't pitch up enough. <laughs> yikes. That was a big yikes. No. That's quite sad. Weapons are armed and weapons are ready. Hopefully we can actually take out a tank this time so that it disappears. I'm assuming that's what happens. I actually don't know. We're still traveling at like almost Mach 2 when we're going to go ahead and fire this. So I feel like that might be a bit of an issue. Also, we should totally add some speed brakes or something to this because it does go very fast. But anyway, let's go ahead and fire in three, two, one. There it goes. Oh, I blew myself up and and I'm dead. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, that didn't work. That did not work. Okay, let's do it from the ground this time instead. So let's spawn in some enemies. Here we go. So we'll spawn in some tanks and also some target drones. There they are. So we'll take off and we'll have to hunt them down. Here we go. So we'll be an interceptor instead of a recon plane. Seems a little bit strange, but I think we'll be able to do it. So wobble down the runway just a little bit. Click IR missile. Yes, go ahead and select one of these. All right, there we go. Nice, we're in the sky. Let's turn around. Okie dokie, and hopefully shoot down the target drones. We've got two of them in the sky, and then we'll go fight the tanks, I guess? One tank that direction and one tank that direction. Luckily, we are a Mach 3 capable aircraft, so we can actually get to both of those. You know? That's good. That's a good thing. Anyway, we got this. We are locked on. Let's go ahead and fire! There we go. Alright, it is actually on its way to the target. Very nice. Here we go. Let's see if it actually explodes on the target. We'll see. Yes! Nice! It did actually take it out. Lovely. We then have to fly in that direction and take that one out too. All right, here we go, guys. Target drone is ahead of us. Let's go ahead and try and lock onto it. There we go. Three, two, one. Fire! There it goes. And... Oh, no. I think I've damaged my own aircraft here. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no. My aircraft is doing something really dodgy, and I don't know what it is. I think... Oh, no. Oh, no. I think what happened was the, uh, the missile actually went through us. That's not very good. We need to actually land now. Otherwise, we got issues. I mean, we got issues anyway, so maybe we don't have to land. But that wasn't very good. All right, how fast are we going? We're still going Mach 1. 
when I was about to drop my landing gear. <laughs> Imagine still going Mach 1 and landing at that speed. That is insane. That is crazy. Anyway, we're going to turn around. Here we go. We might be able to lock onto the tank before we fall out of the sky. Uh, but maybe not. We'll see. Here we go. All right, we are pretty well lined up. Yes. Okay, we are wanting to roll to the right. That is what the aircraft is doing. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and fire. Oh, yeah, see, it actually goes through my own aircraft. We're fully on fire now. My SR-71 is, is engulfed in flames. <laughs> I didn't know this was a thing. I didn't know this was a thing. This is crazy. Okay, we're going to have to land because we're on fire next to the enemy tank. Oh, my goodness. Okay, land, come on. Get rid of the other missile. There it goes. Okay. This ain't it. This is not what you want to see from an SR-71. Not at all. Alright, here we go. We're still going 350 miles an hour. But we are on the ground. Oh, never mind, we were. We're bunny hopping, this isn't good. We need to flare it more. Oh no! I'm gonna ram it into the ground. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. Slowly does it. I don't have any brakes either, that's the other thing. We still need brakes. Yikes. Big old yikes. Going down. Alright, well, I think that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys really like the way this thing looks, which honestly I think we've done a good job with, uh, let me know in the comments too. Also, let me know whether you think the longer actual, like the longer fuselage looks better than the shorter one, and whether the bigger engines look better too. Honestly, I think the bigger engines and the longer fuselage all make it look really good. But anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm so glad we hit our target of Mach 3. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye. Oh, and also, make sure to go check out the actual, uh, the build of this on Frantic Extra. I'll link that down below.